In Windchill, you can manage replacements for different components. So let's take a look at a scenario. Here I have a CAD assembly open. It's basically a box with some connectors. And I want to make it so that if anyone is using these different back shells that are straight, they can swap out back shells that have a 90 degree angle. Also, I've got a bunch of different connectors in here. And with these different connectors in this particular assembly, I want to allow people to replace these ones with others with different keying. So when you're talking about replacements, you have two different types. You have alternates and you have substitutes. The easy way I find to think of it is that an alternate can be used anywhere. Any assembly that uses that component, you can replace it with the alternate. And it can be one way or two way. The difference with a substitute, I remember substitute specific. In a specific assembly, you're allowed to swap out one component for one of its replacements. So again, alternate, anywhere, substitute, specific. Let's see how to do this in Windchill. All right, here I am in Windchill. I am on the Structure tab for that particular assembly. Here you can see the different components in there. And so here we have the back shells. Here we have the connectors. And again, I want to say that anyone can swap out a 90 degree back shell anywhere for the straight back shell. So let's start off. I'm going to search for that back shell. Let's search for M85049. Um, asterisk and when I do the search here you can see the results that are coming up over here let's go to the straight back shell and I'll go to the details tab and so the details tab this is where we see the metadata for the information about the object here we have a little thumbnail of the object the way that you define alternates is by going to the WT part. You don't do it from the CAD object, you do it from the WT part. So I'm gonna go over to that particular object. And right now I'm on the structure tab. Let's go to the related objects tab for that. And so I've got a few different uh, containers of information. I've got some stuff for documents. Here's the CAD document. Here we have alternates and then we have substitutes. You'll notice with alternates, you're able to add alternates, remove alternates, or edit the different links between them. But substitutes you can't do from here. You can only do alternates because from the WT part for this object, I can specify what can replace this component anywhere. With substitutes, it's going to be specific to a given model, a given assembly. All right, let's click on the plus button to add in a new substitute. And now for the number, let me do a search. M85049 asterisk, hit the search button. And so it comes up with the only other one that I currently have in my system. Let's make the dialog box a little bit bigger so you can see that it's listed inside of here in the search results. I just check the box and then click the OK button. And now the alternate is added. Right now it is not set for two-way. In other words, it's saying that I can swap out the right angle back shell for the straight one, but not vice versa. Let's select this and then click on the edit button over here. And then in the dialog box, once again, I will make it a little bit wider. Here we have the two-way drop-down list, and I'm going to change that from no to yes, and then click the OK button. And so now people are able to swap out one for the other either way. All right, so here we see that it is a two-way substitute inside of here. Let's take a look at its information. Let me go back to my search. I will go to the 90 degree back shell. Let's go to its WT part and under related objects. Here we can see that we can swap out the straight back shell for the right angle one. So one of the easiest ways to define alternates is from the WT part for the object that you want to define the alternates. But let's take a look at doing the substitutes. For the substitutes, you're going to have to do it from the assembly that owns it. 
let me search inside of here let me put in the search term let me change this from CAD documents to all types and then do the search and that way I can see inside of here okay here here's the WT part that I am interested in and let's go to the structure tab so again this is what I had open inside of Creo parametric and here is the connector let me right click on here you can see that we have a lot of different commands that are available from here with the replace button you can choose replace with existing or replace with new what I want to do instead is manage the replacements so when I manage the replacements I get another dialog box and here it lists any alternates that might have already been defined in other words stuff where this can be swapped out for any component in any particular assembly but what I want to do is define a substitute so let's click on the add button and I'm gonna search for the components let me look for D 38 triple nine and put in some of the other letters that are going to be in here and then an asterisk and then hit the search button and so it came up with five other results in here and these are the different keying for the connector I'm just going to select all of them that's good let's click the OK button and so now we have five different substitutes defined for swapping out this connector with a different connector and again it's only for this particular assembly let's click the OK button out of here and you'll notice that this has been checked out let's check it back in actions check in and let me type in a little comment in here click the OK button so now it is checked back in let's go to the object I'm gonna right click let's show hide related information and in this case I'm gonna choose replacement parts so that way we can see the replacement parts for that one let's right click on this one as well show hide related information replacement parts and you'll notice that the ones that are alternates have a slightly different colored symbol than the ones that are substitutes inside of here so in that way that's how you can define the alternates and the substitutes for the different components one note to interject you don't have to turn on the display of replacements one by one you can do it for the entire report by going to the show drop down list and then choosing replacement parts one last thing to note you have a number of different reports that you can generate from the structure tab let's go to the reports command normally the reports command is available on the right hand side of the ribbon but I have an overflow menu just because my zoom level is set so high let's go to the reports and then we can generate the multi-level bomb with replacements and then here we have a dialog box and we can see the components in the bill of materials with their replacements and it indicates which ones are substitutes and which ones are alternates from this dialog box you can export the list to a file and you have a variety of different formats available to you i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.